um, part of my uh, unclarity would be certain times, certain things feel like they'll manifest, whether on the what I consider the positive or the ne or, or an experience that isn't very comfortable. You know, and I. I don't have a sense of what I did or didn't do other than saying, well, I must have had resistance to call in that which really feels you know, kind of horrible to me. And then that which I pulled in that's like, oh my God, how did that happen? Don't try too hard to figure that out. And here's why. So let's say that life has caused you to ask for something and you've been asking for it for a while. So you're quite clear about what it is that you're asking for. What you're asking for the cooperative components have already been gathered and your inner being is guiding you. And when you are in the receiving mode, you can feel the guidance. Your inner being is guiding you along your path of least resistance. So sometimes you have a path that is not resistant in nature. So you receive impulses and guidance and you can feel that things are unfolding, but sometimes you have beliefs that you've been nurturing for quite a long time that are quite rigid and in the way. And so your path has a lot of resistance on it. Now it doesn't really matter how much resistance your path has because your inner being knows where you are in relationship to everything that you want and your inner being can guide you around all the resistance. But when you aren't getting it as fast as you want it and you stop and wonder, what am I doing wrong? You just throw more resistance on the trail. You just absolutely turn your receptive mode away from your inner being who's offering it. And you just sort of spin your wheels there for a while. So if you can just say something more to yourself, like everything's on schedule, it's unfolding nicely. I'm figuring it out as I go. I know my inner being knows where I want to be. And my inner being is calling me there.